For those of you following our progress, here's a more recent animation of the emergency ventilator. You might notice that it's a very simple design. In fact, we've gotten many comments saying it's much too simple. Here's a quote. A ventilator has to accurately control pressure, allow variable I to E ratios, auto-adjust PEEP, etc., etc. It doesn't just pump air in and out. Fair enough. A hospital ventilator does have to do all of those things and more. In hindsight, we probably shouldn't even have called it a ventilator. That word brings to mind a very sophisticated medical device. This device, conceived by the University of Minnesota's Medical School and Medical Devices Center, is actually a decidedly unsophisticated one-armed robot for operating an Ambu bag, tirelessly. Although it's not sophisticated, it can be scaled up quickly into the tens of thousands of units to address the upcoming critical shortage of sophisticated ventilators. Imagine this rapidly approaching scenario. You're a doctor in a crowded hospital. All of your standard ventilators are tied up. You've already taken the hospital's anesthesia workstations and repurposed them, and now they're all tied up. You moved on to BiPAP and CPAP sleep apnea machines, and now they're all gone. Now you're starting to ventilate patients with Ambu bags, hoping you can keep them alive until a ventilator frees up. But each patient that needs Ambu ventilation ties up one more trained clinician, and the clinicians are rapidly fatiguing. There's just not enough time to make conventional ventilators, certainly not in high enough quantity. But what if you had a simple, one-armed robot to handle each Ambu bag, and each clinician could monitor three or four patients, able to keep a close eye on their vitals and the robot? This simple robot doesn't even come close to replacing conventional ventilators, but it can save many lives in the coming weeks. All we need to proceed is an FDA emergency use authorization.